Let's take a look at the EGR valve on this Ram 2500 with a 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine. Now I've got an EGR valve sitting right here. Normally it would be installed on the truck, so we've got the, the clamp going to the EGR tube right here. Then it's getting it mounted to the intake. So exhaust gases come in here. We've got the intake gases right here. So it's gonna get mixed through. And this thing is normally default through a spring in the closed position. Now there's a stepper motor here with a position sensor built into the motor itself on the end. Now when the EGR is commanded on, this motor is gonna energize and actuate the valve to slide this direction, allowing exhaust gas to flow into the intake and be drawn in right here, mixing it. So again, this is default to the closed position. Now, I just said that there's a motor and position sensors built into this. Now, one common issue is these EGR valves will stick in the open position due to carbon over time. You know, this is where we've got hot exhaust gas getting mixed with cool intake, and that's where the deposits drop off, causing this valve to stick. If you're familiar with gasoline engines, you may have run into this before, and you're saying, well, what's the big deal? My position sensor shows that the valve is stuck open. This particular truck was experiencing lack of power, hesitation on acceleration, and black smoke. We came to the conclusion that the EGR valve was actually stuck open. And so as you'll see, looking at our scan data, it indicates that the valve is in fact shut. Well, why is that? Now back on the truck here, I'm going to show you. I can disconnect this, unplug the electrical connector, then I'm going to take a Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to simply remove the four screws holding this together. All right. Now that we've got all the screws removed, you can see again, this is the plunger, the electrical motor goes in here, pushes against the valve, actuates that to open it. Now again, if this thing sticks in the open position, this motor is going to retract as well as the position sensor. So if we look at the motor here and sensor, this could be all the way retracted. Meanwhile, the valve is stuck open. And so beware if you ever run into this occurrence on a 6.7 Cummins engine that just because the sensor reads that the valve is closed, that's telling you what the motor is doing. That gives you no indication as to what the uh, actual valve itself is doing. So as we look at some newer ones with a EGR temp sensor here, if we see excessive EGR temps, that's indicating to us that flow is actually occurring. That's one great diagnostic PID to use here. But on some of these early ones where we don't have the temp sensor, we're gonna be left to make an educated guess here. As you can see, it didn't take a whole lot of effort to pull the four screws off of this and you would see this stuck in the open position. Quite often you can work it a few times and get it to pop back. Nonetheless, uh, it's not worth cleaning. Recommended solution here, go ahead and install a brand new EGR valve. Ensure that the repair is gonna last the lifetime of the truck. So hopefully now you understand what goes into diagnosing and how it actually works with an EGR valve on a Dodge Ram 6.7 Cummins engine truck.